Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're back out the long range with the Desert Tactical Arms SRS Covert. You've seen this before on the Military Arms Channel. We've had this rifle now for several months, been evaluating it, and now it's tell the time to tell you guys more about this gun. This rifle, as you see it configured right now, is chambered in 308. But the nice thing about the Covert, or the SRS chassis in general, is the fact that you can quickly change calibers. We have several different calibers out here this afternoon. We have the 308 that's in the gun with the 16-inch barrel with this muzzle brake. We also have a 300 Win Mag barrel that's 20 inches in length and fluted. And we also have an 18-inch 338 Lapua barrel. So changing the calibers is super simple to do. We'll show you how that's done here in a little bit. But I want to talk more about this gun, how accurate it is, and also talk about the price. Let's touch upon that here really quick. The price of this rifle, just the chassis, that doesn't include the barrel, bolt, or magazine, is right around $3,000. It goes up to about $3,600, depending on how you configure it. Then once you have a chassis, you also have to buy a conversion kit, a caliber for it. That includes the barrel, bolt, and magazine, and that starts at right around $1,490, can go up to right around $2,000. So once fully configured, these rifles can get pretty expensive. Are they worth it? I don't know. Let's find out. Let's get going, guys. The first step in setting up your rifle for long range work is getting it zeroed, then figuring out the muzzle velocity of the ammo you're using so you can calculate the bullet's drop. Using Desert Tactical Arms Match 308 with 175 grain bullets, we got an average muzzle velocity so we could drop that into our MD Ballistic software. The 175 grain Match King Sierra bullets were traveling at around 2500 feet per second from the short 16 inch barrel. The covert is very short with an overall length around 27 inches depending on the barrel length and the muzzle device installed. It features a full length 1913 style rail across the top for mounting optics of your choice. The rail also extends past the receiver and onto the handguard. The handguard features removable rail sections on both sides and on the bottom. The rifle has many ambi controls including the safety which is accessible from both sides of the rifle. Another ambi control is the magazine release. The mag can be dropped with a button located on both sides of the rifle. The stock includes a butt spike in the rear that allows for quick and easy adjustment to height. It allows for rapid gross adjustments and also for fine adjustments. Shooting the covert is very pleasant and despite the unconventional location of the controls, it's quite ergonomic once you get the hang of things. The trigger is extremely light at 2 pounds of pull on my rifle. The trigger is fully adjustable so you can fine tune it for your particular shooting style. Recoil with the short barrel is very controllable and manageable, however the muzzle blast can be a bit overwhelming, especially with the larger calibers. Desert Tactical Arms offers an accuracy guarantee of one half MOA at 100 yards for three shots using their DTM ammunition, which is custom tailored for their rifles. We were short on DTA ammo, so I decided to use the 308 for accuracy testing. We had more 308 ammo on hand than other calibers. Did the Covert live up to the accuracy guarantee of the company? I think this one quarter MOA 100 yard 3 shot group suggests that it indeed does. This is the breakfast of champions right here. They have a microwave out here at our long range. And thankfully, that allows me to eat these wonderful little gems. <laughs> So good. Ow! Holy f oh. <laughs> Wow, man, it's like napalm. Let's take a look at how you do a caliber conversion on the SRS Tactical or how you can just simply remove your barrel. Here I have the rifle with its 20 inch 300 Win Mag barrel. I'm going to replace that with this 16 inch 308 barrel. You'll need the caliber conversion kit with the bolt and the barrel, and then you'll need this tool, which is a T-handle that's set to 70 inch-pounds with a 5 millimeter head. To start off, you want to make sure the weapon's empty. Just make sure the chamber's clear. And you'll start by removing the butt pad. There's just a tab here you hit with your finger. Hit that tab, pull down, and the butt pad comes off the rifle. Next, you'll just pull the bolt to the rear, as if you're just chambering around. Pull that out. And now, you can remove the barrel. There are four bolts here just above the pistol grip, and that's where the T-handle comes in. You're going to back these screws off. You're not going to take them out. You're just going to loosen them. All four of them. Like that. One more. 
And then on the other side of the rifle, you have a lock. I'm just going to rotate this 180 degrees from locked to unlock with the same T-handle, like that. And now you can pull the barrel out of the rifle. Just pull straight forward, and it comes right out. All right? I'm going to turn the rifle around here. It's a little easier for me to do this way. And now I'm going to take the three-weight barrel. You just want to make sure you have it aligned properly. Feed ramp's right there. Stick it in. Slide it down gently. Don't force it. And you can see right back here in the receiver area as the barrel comes in, you can see it line up. Just rotate it till it aligns. Now it's important that you take the bolt. I want to make sure I have the right bolt here. You put the bolt in next before you lock the barrel down and lock the bolt in place. That sets the head space. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put the butt pad on now too. Lock that in place. Now all you have to do is take your 70 inch pound T-handle and tighten each of the four bolts back down. Until it pops, that's 70 inch pounds. All four of them, no particular order. I'm just working from the front to the back. Then you want to make sure that you also rotate the lock. I'm going to rotate that back up to the locked position, 180 degrees. And that's it, you're ready to shoot your rifle. You can adjust the length of pull on the covert by adding or removing spacers to the butt plate. That's the standard butt pad, but you'll also notice there's two spacers left on the rifle. They're just tabs holding them in place. There's a little tab right here. You just pull that tab, and then you can pull the spacer off. So that's how you adjust the length of pull. It's also how you remove the butt plate to field strip the rifle. Kind of like Lego blocks, just put them in place and press, lock in place. So you can make the length of pull as long or as short as needed. Shooting the Covert with the 300 Win Mag barrel was surprisingly pleasant despite the fact it didn't have a muzzle brake. Aaron, seen here shooting it, said the 300 Win Mag was incredibly easy to get on target at 1,000 yards and I agree with him. The caliber seemed to work very well with the Covert. We saw very good accuracy using 190 grain Federal Gold Medal match ammunition. So how did the Covert shoot with the massive 338 Lapua ammo? It was a blast! Yeah. Wow! It really swings that man size at a thousand. Yeah, it does. 308 would just barely scratch the paint. This thing's rocking it, man. Look at that thing swing. That's incredible. The 338 was also pleasant to shoot, and the recoil wasn't as bad as you might think. The muzzle blast was absolutely horrific, though. But once you got used to the teeth rattling muzzle blast, the accuracy was spectacular. You can see the 10 inch group appearing on the man sized target at 1,000 yards. I was extremely impressed with the performance of the 338 system. The Desert Tactical Arms Covert is unique in the marketplace due to the fact it's a bullpup bolt-action precision rifle. This separates it from the other more conventional designs on the market that are in the same price range. That's where I think the DTA rifle really shines. It's carved out a nice niche for itself and it stands out from the competition. Is it worth the $4,000 plus price tag? That's only a question you can answer for yourself. I will say the rifle stacks up to some of the best precision rifles I've fired on the market in terms of accuracy and ergonomics. However, the bullpup configuration isn't for everybody. If you decide to go with the Covert, you'll have to get used to the unconventional design. I've seen some folks struggle with the bolt handle until they familiarize themselves with it in its rearward location. If I could change one thing on the rifle, it would be to make the safety lever a bit more positive by having a more solid detent for the safe and fire positions. Other than that, I think this is a rock-solid long-range rifle. 
If you guys have any questions about anything you've seen in this video, you can ask those questions on our Facebook page. You can find us on Facebook at www.facebook.com forward slash military arms. Also, please swing by and check out the bang switch. It's the Military Arms Channel blog. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll talk to you guys soon.